Hey guys, so after a lot of people have asked me to do, um, to go back with my lives, which I didn't stop them for any reason. I've just been super busy and traveling. It's just been, I haven't been able to keep it consistent. But I figured what I would do is I would just sort of do them sporadically at the barn as I can. So, and then I'll just post them. Um, I'll keep them on here for 24 hours. Um, and then I'll post them to YouTube and then post them on Facebook, everything. So this live, cause someone asked, posed a really good question about like my feeding regiment, um, and what we do. And I figured the best time to do it would be on Tuesdays cause that's when we get our feeding order. Hey Haley. <laughs> um, so I just finished riding and it was like 11 horses today. So this is the earliest time I could get, but perfect timing because voila. We got our feed order today. As you can see, Neutrina is the bomb dig. Okay, and then Elise is Johnny on it because she's got all the horses feed made up for today. Or, sorry, for tomorrow. So, um, wanted to go over which each and every one of these feeds are and what they're used for because it can be a little bit confusing. Um, as you know, horses are not a one size fits all. Everybody metabolizes things different. Um, so like, you know, the hard thing about if you're boarding your horse, some barns just do like a one size fits all thing. It makes it kind of hard, especially if you're a hard keeper, a way too easy of a keeper, depending on your discipline that you do. Um, and as you know, we have FEI, um, event horses, but also FEI dressage horses. And I've had to find out the hard way, um, <laughs> that, uh, two very different things actually. Um, and very difficult, um, well, Initially, it was very difficult for me to figure out how to um, feed the two types of horses because I was making, I was feeding my very first FEI dressage horse, Diego, um, the Andalusian, um, the same I was feeding my vent horses, and I would have fat pockets everywhere and wondered why. Um, so as he's um, progressed and as I'm learning more, um, I'm very close with my Neutrina people. Douglas Lovett is huge, comes, comes to my barn and um, rates my horses on a scale from one to five. And everybody's, um, for the most part, a four to a five, uh, which is pretty hard to attain, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, at any rate, so I'm going to go over with that. I'll also talk about platinum, um, because honestly, between the two, I, you can't go wrong, guys. Um, you really can't go wrong. And again, I'm not just saying this. Um, because I'm sponsored by the two companies. I am of the type, I'm of the mindset that um, I do all my sponsorships. I don't have somebody that does it for me. So I use the product first, and then I, if I wholeheartedly believe, wholeheartedly believe in it, and I feel like, hey, this is something that I could, I could sell, not sell, but I could uh, believe in and um, tell my clients about, then it's something I want to get behind. Um, I started with Neutrina only back when they had ProForce and XTN, and um, I and they believed in me, and they said, "Look, we have a really big. Uh, this company is going to grow and it's going to expand, and um, if you believe in us, we'll believe in you." And they've just God, they've expanded to everything, and I just couldn't be happier. My horses, I have to say, look amazing, every one of them. Um, and I'll take you out and look at a couple. The horses that are in for the night are, for the most part. Um, my dressage horses, a couple of the event horses, one of Haley's horses. Um, and they're all, they're, gosh, they're all so different. So, um, we'll go over what each one of these feeds are that are in. You'll see I've got a variety. I've got Safe Choice Perform. I've got, I've got Pro Force Fuel. I've got, uh, Fiber Guys Omega. Uh, we've got, uh, the Top Line Empower. And then we've got XTN. And each one of them do a totally different thing. So, um, for my safe choice perform, let me show it that to you guys. Um, how do I turn around here? Boom. Here we go. So, safe choice perform is this top one. And I also will find you guys. We have a little, here's our feed chart. We've got lots of horses. Lots of horses, lots of horses, lots of horses. Horses, 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 horses. Numbers, Prevacox, horses that are on Prevacox. Um, I love Prevacox. I think it's awesome. Um, but... So, this is Safe Choice. Pelleted, seems boring. I tell you what, it is the most palatable stuff. The horses love it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, to me, that doesn't seem like I would want to eat that, but they all eat this. And the best part about these pelleted things versus something that's like molasses-based um, is it ha it's an 
easier way to keep, you know, that's safe. A lot of the molasses based things, um, you worry about if you don't feed it quick enough, it goes bad. Um, and you also worry about how, um, you know, the consistency of it, because if it's super molasses based, it's not going to be consistent from the top of the bag to the bottom of the bag. That's just how, how it works. So this is a safe choice. The safe choice performs specifically, um, is a very high rate of fat, the highest rate of fat, um, and let me see if I can find one of these tags for you guys. If you guys can see it up close. I'm going to do this up close so that you guys can screenshot this. So you can see the protein, the lysine, all that good stuff. Okay. Um, but my performance horses are on it. Let's see who's on it. So um, the performance horses are on it. So let's see here. Um, and they're also on black bag as well. It just depends on what they like. So Patrick kind of goes back and forth based on, because he's a hamster. Um, and he gets whatever he wants because he's perfect. So um, he sort of goes back and forth between whether he wants fibrogized um, or safe choice. So right now he's kind of feeling both of them. So he gets um, eat one of each. Um, let's see who else is getting the safe choice perform. And again, it's for my performance horses. So like Leo um, is getting that. Let's see, Solar, Banjo, Gwen, Willie, Hallow, um, Riviera, Kenna, uh, Jameson. Let's see who else. Um, Peace. Al gets one scoop of it, uh, Comet gets it, Digby gets it, Atlas gets it, uh, Matisse gets it, Matisse, um, Drakey gets it, so a lot of the horses gets it, oh, and Smugs, uh, Smugs gets it, so um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very good feed, I really like it because it's high fat, high protein, but it does not make your horses hot, it's the same thing with the black bag, to me, the um, black bag, or um, Pro Force Fuel. It's it's the only thing is it's controlled. It's a controlled starch feed. It's for hard keepers. This is also a con high fat controlled controlled tar starch feed for high fat for hard keepers. Sorry, pardon me, guys. Um, the only difference is that for me, this one has um, what's the, the the fuel is a little bit more beet pulp based, um, but it's a pellet again. Um, whereas this is not. So it's sort of a taste preference with your horses because they're very, very similar. Now, moving on, the Pro Force Fuel. Um, these are the things on here, so you can read this if everybody can see that. Boom. Again, feel free to um, screenshot that part of the video, guys. Um, so a lot of my horses that um, are hard keepers, I have it. Most of my horses don't get lunch. Every now and then some of the horses will get lunch, but... I've been, I think the most my horses get, one of my horses get, it gets is two scoops twice a day. So, um, you know, if I get one that comes in, um, you know, it comes to me, it's a little thin, then they'll get fed three times a day until we get weight on them. Um, so here is the, which one is this? This is black bag. This is black bag. So as you can see, it's pelleted base, but it is, unlike the safe choice, um, it's more beet pulp base. So it smells really good. Um, I could see why they'd like this one. But, you know, it's it's all a taste preference for your horses. I have not had many horses go off a sa off of safe choice. And if Al eats it, they will all eat it. I don't get it. They just do. It's, it's, a, it's a thing. It's a vibe. Um, so really happy with that. Now, uh, moving on. Fibrogize Omega. Fibrogize was used to be a Penfields brand. Now that Neutrina has taken over, um... This is another great feed, really high fat. Um, again, four hard keepers. They, they call it a specialty feed. Um, you know, it's it's maintaining a healthy weight. I've had a really good, I've had really good luck with getting weight on horses with this. Um, I don't have to feed as much. Um, and again, this one, let's see here. This is, uh, this stuff, this is, again, this is, Again, it used to be called, it's Penfield, but now Neutrina's taken over. It's a great feed. It's a really good feed. A lot of my horses are on it. Um, who's on it? Ringo is on it. Um, I've found that I, have, I can feed less of the fiber jazz. Um, and I usually will start because it's a little more expensive. So I'll usually start the horses with the fiber jazz. Um, the ones that are like, come a little thin. 
I'll start with like two scoops and then once I get the weight on them, then I'll move them over to um, Pro Force. I just see Kendall joined us. Kendall is a testament because her horse was skinny, skinny, mini, and she, it was like a uh, challenge. I, I accept challenges when people say that they can't get weight on their horses. Um, another one is um, Alexis's horse, Aripika, who came literally skin and bones, and it looks like a A-class, like, Aventure $100,000 horse now. Like, looks amazing. And Ari's on, um, what is he on? Oh, he's on two fiber dyes, AM and PM. Doesn't even get a lunch. So, um, yeah, he looks amazing. And he used, he did start because he came so skinny, he did get a lunch. So, um, yeah, I've been, like I said, I've been really pleased with it. I'll show you a picture of the fiber dyes. Not a picture. The dork right now. But this, this is, that's balance. Here's fiber dyes. So, again, fiber dyes. Now this is a little bit more beet pulpy base. This one, this is, this feed's been tried and tried and true, um, but the horses seem to really like this. Very rarely do I have a horse um, go off their feed. They usually tend to eat it, and I will give you that trick. Um, I will give you that trick um, afterwards of what I do to get them to eat their supplements and their feed, but. And I've learned that trick from one of Buck's oldest standing grooms, um, Katie Strickland, and um, amazing. And if you guys see that strategy, I'm not sponsored by them. Boo. Boo. That came with smugs. Not a fan. But we have to feed the rest of it. So, boo. Um, okay. Last but not least that we have here. Now, again, um, Neutrina has a wide, no, that's, this isn't the last feed. I've got two more feeds to show you. Neutrina has way more than what we offer, but this is sort of for the 30 some odd horses that we have here. This is sort of encompasses what everybody needs. Um, so we've got top line balance. Now for my easy, easy keepers, most of my dressage horses, bless them. But like specifically Diego, who else is on balance? Um, 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 just read a couple that were on balance. Basically any of my easy keepers, um, Fuegs is on balance. I thought Matisse used to be, but he's not anymore. Um, um, I'm sorry. Oh, Comet. Comet. Yep. He's, he's a crusty little bastard. Um, he's also on, um, balance. And so what balance is, is it gives your horses all the nutrients that they need, but without the fat. Um, and they still have energy to work, but you don't need to give, you can feed them. So if they have supplements, you can feed them, but you don't have to worry about them gaining weight. So you're really easy keepers, the ones that get crests easily. Um, this is a great, great feed. Again, I'm going to bring this up so you guys can see this. This is top line balance and power. Amazing, amazing, um, feed. And again, it, when I used to have the horse Jolly Good Sport, the paint, he lived on this. I'm not sure if Sheila still has him on it. Um, I just saw her last night. He's doing awesome. If anybody cares to know, he's doing really well. Um, he's doing lower level eventing with a adult amateur who loves him and he's just living the life right now. But again, high protein. Um, so the horses are getting everything that they need, but just super low in fats. Um, and it's, it's just, it's a fabulous feed and, um, helps keep their top line conditions so that it, um, eradicates that, uh, lovely crusty look for the for the fatties um maybe i need to be on that just kidding um okay last but not least um so diego always loves when it's horse show week diego's my andalusian who has the fat pockets um that we've minimized through the empower balance but um he loves when it's horse show week because he gets the the sweet feed of the group which is called um oh wait a second wait a second hold your horses before I get ahead of myself. This is Balance. So Balance is super cool looking because it's like red, but it's pellet. So Neutrina tries to keep most of its feed a pellet aside from XTM, which is a sweet feed, but it's like a reddish color. Again, extremely palatable, especially when you have the fatties, they love, they'll eat literally anything. I swear I could feed them their supplements alone, they'd eat it. They're just so thankful for food. Um, but again, even Diego, who is super, super fat, he gets a one third of Balance also, now, during horse show weeks, he gets um, a half a scoop of XTN. Now, XTN is way underneath here. I don't think we have a little... 
container for XTN. Because only Al and Fwags get it. But let me see if I can find you guys a thing for XTN. Oh, what's this down here? We have another feed. What is this? Oh, we forgot. We have Boost. Oh, we have Boost. Gosh, I'm, I'm freaking out here, guys. Okay, so here's XTN. XTN is adding energy. So if you, so again, like Al gets it. Al's always lived on it because Al can have energy. He never gets hot. He, if he gets, if he's going to go cuckoo, I don't care if you have him on no feed. He's just going to go cuckoo. That's just Al's br little brain. Um, love him to death, but that's just how he works. So if he's going to lose his cookies or his marbles or whatever he loses, um, he's going to lose them whether he's on a ho the hottest sweet feed or not. Um, so this just sort of gives him, keeps his energy levels up. Um, Diego, during horse show weeks, we add that with his Empower Balance um, to give him extra energy because he's, a, he's not a little, he's very lazy. Um, and so we only have one of these bags because only two of my horses get this. The rest of them have plenty of energy. Um, but again, it's a really good energy blend. It's got plenty of fat in it. Um, and it's extremely palatable. I'm sure Patrick would love to have that, but he cannot. Um, last but not least is the Empower Boost. This is a fat, um, an a fat supplement. I'm like, where are these things for this one? Damn it, Elise, you've left it all. Can't get it. Oh, no. Well, uh... I guess I'm going to have to just look that one up because I'm not going to unearth this while I have the phone in my hand. But the boost is, you'll see a lot of my horses, you see auto. My harder keepers are on the boost. That adds fat. Um, it's just an extra boost of fat for the horses. Um, Mowgli is on boost um, and we put him on it because I am of the mindset, I'd rather have my horses a little bit too heavy um, especially when they come here if they're a little thin or if they're under muscled but fat. Um, I would rather have the horses have a little more fat to create muscle. Um, again, I've learned that from the dressage world, but again, it's, it's, I'd rather have more fat than less fat to create muscle. Um, just my opinion. So again, you'll see a lot of these guys are on hallows on boost, um, flex is on boost, sissies on boost. Um, Drakey's on boost, Otto's on boost, Mowgli's on boost, Ringo Starr's on boost, Patrick Hatrick's on boost, Raven's on boost. Um, I think that's it. But so plenty of horses are getting boost. Um, and so it's a, it's a really good supplement. Okay. Now for the platinum, I won't go crazy, crazy into the platinum stuff, because as you can see, we have a ton of, uh, and I'm not, I wouldn't say, and this, oh, this is what the boost looks like. You see those little rounded pellets right here, guys? That's the boost. So that must be, who is this? This is, uh, this is Matthijs. That's Matthijs's, I didn't know Matthijs was getting boost. Um, or maybe that's about, no, that's, that's the boost. So, I don't know. Who's this is? Jeez. Who's this this? Oh, this is a Smugs. Yes, yeah, Smugs is getting boost because I want more weight on him. So any horse that I want more weight on, that's weird. I don't know what that is. Um, any horse that I want more weight on. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, and I just upped Matisse's green because I did want more weight on him. Um, we give him boost. Now, the cool thing about Platinum is that now they've caught, they've caught up to the game because they're doing these little Platinum packs. They used to just send us, which for me it works in bulk because we've got so many horses. So they'd send us um, these big dudes. So like this is the Platinum Performance Supplement. Like look at these monstrosities and they worked re they work really well, a Platinum Electrolyte, all that stuff. But for a lot of people, um, they don't want, they don't want all these um, big containers for their one horse. So what Platinum started doing is creating um, these Platinum Packs, mixing all the powders together. So let's look at what Jameson gets. There we go. Okay, so Jammers gets a uh, Platinum Performance CJ. He gets Magnesium Citrate, and he gets Platinum Power. Um, again, the Performance CJ is an all-around uh, joint supplement. Gosh, it does everything. It's a it's for the feet. It's for the digestion. Magnesium is for muscle. 
Um, and Platinum Power, I have to look that one up, but I think that's more for breathing, but I could be completely wrong. I don't, I haven't, I haven't read upon that one. I'm just using, I'm just looking up the ones that I completely know about. Um, who is this? This is, um, oh, we have Aloha's here. Aloha is not here, he's in Wellington. Um, oh, we've got a lot that are out that need to be, uh, replenished here, people. Um, let's see, what's this? This is my essence. We don't need that. Oh, a Diggle Beans. Oh, Digbees is out too. Platinum Electrolyte. Uh, this is Platinum. Oh, that's where she keeps the, now you guys can see what the boost looks like. Those are those little rounded pellets to add fat. Um, oh, and now you can see what the XTN looks like. XTN. Yep, there it is. Cool. Oh, Woods, you want to join? Join. I'm waiting for you. Woods wants to join, guys. This is exciting. I don't know if she accidentally did this or if she's not. Woodsy, you can join with me any day, honey. Hey, Woodsy. Hey. <laughs> are you joining my live? Yeah, we are. This is so Look, exciting. Hey. Hey, guys. How's it going? How do I flip the screen? So, hey, everybody. Hi. I need some food. Who is that? That's Sean. Oh, hi. Oh, Sean. He's oh, show everybody his trick. Yeah, well, he Dude. sticks his tongue out. He says, hey, Sean, do you want a treat? Good boy. Oh, good boy, Sean. <laughs> so everybody, if they don't know, you guys don't know who that is. That's Copper Beach. So Buck's a um, very famous four-star horse. And that's his trick. He sticks his tongue out. <laughs> we really finished early today, so we were really watching you. Oh, were you? Oh, I, I don't even know half my supplements, but I'm trying to figure them out as I go. Everybody, I'm, this is Witch Fulton. She's a big time four star rider, amazing rider. I call her Baby Jesus. The big so, time is. Big time is. <laughs> she's big time. I call her Baby Jesus because she literally can ride anything and everything, and she's amazing, and I love her. Thanks, girl. So, yeah, and so well, who else are you around right now? Introduce us to the to Bucks people. I'm Des. Well, okay. this is Des. This is hey. Des. Hey, this, Jess. This is, hang on. This is Ella. Ella. Isn't she the cutest? Oh, hi, Ella. She got hit by a <laughs> car. Oh, that's, that's not good. <laughs> she got hit by a car. And Jess saved her. And now she's that's our dog. Cool. Oh, that's good. Her, her that's good. <laughs> hang on. She has a this, this is Fiona. Met Fiona? Hi, Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> she has to hang upside down. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Very good. Very good. This is good. I'm going to put, totally put this on YouTube, too. Oh, no. Isn't she the there? cutest? So cute. And then this is Tori and her dog, Holly. And Patrick's just hey, Tori. Right now. Hang on. you want to say hi to you. I got Lainey on the phone. What's he saying? <laughs> Lainey. Oh. <laughs> How's it going? Is that Patrick? Hi. Hey, Patrick. Yeah, it's Patrick. How's it going? <laughs> it's uh, so we're just doing a little meet and greet with all the best people. It's like my second family. <laughs> I'm cold. I'm actually cold right now. Uh, so. Absolute favorite. Yep. Yep, no. Are you? Well, well I'm in Virginia, but it's actually, it's really like, actually pretty hot right here. Now. It is. Oh, really? Oh, Sean's giving kisses. <laughs> oh. I really got a new pair of pants today, and I'm stoked. Oh, show us. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> Can't see them at all. All right. Well, we got to go back to work. We'll let you go, go back to, to work. Or anything, but we just Thanks wanted for to checking in. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Okay, so that was fun. So um, that was Wedge. Uh, Savannah Fulton, as you guys know, she's an amazing rider. Literally amazing. Everybody needs to follow in that kid's footsteps. And I do seriously call her Baby Jesus because she can literally ride anything and everything. Now, 
So um, we have all these platinum smart packs. Um, and again, they do this. What is this? This looks like the, uh, I don't know what this one. Oh, perform. Oh, this is performance and wellness. So again, same, another joint supplement here. Cool. So like I said, before I was not a huge um, joint feeder kind of deal or supplement feeder, but uh, Kitty Strickland got me into it. If right now it's not being used because it's been cleaned out. Well, not very well cleaned out. I'm going to have to get on Lisa's case about that. But what I do every night to um, make my horses eat their supplements is I put a scoop of flax seeds, a, like literally one cup. I take a cup of just dry flax seeds. I'm not sure where they are in here because I've not made them up in a long time. I'm, they're somewhere in here. No, those are muffins. Anyhow, they're somewhere in here, guys. And um, we put the we put the flax seed in here. Okay. Then you fill the water up to about three quarters high. Then you put you push it on low. This thing's blanking on and off because it's ready to go again. And then you cook it overnight. Okay. In the morning, you take it off and then you ladle it and split it in between the horse's feet over there. And then you mix it in and not only is the flaxseed good for, you know, heart health, it's great for their coats. Um, it's a really amazing for just the horses, like, gaining weight. It makes their feed more palatable. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just an amazing, it's just an amazing um, trick. And that's what Katie Strickland taught me literally when I was, gosh, I want to say I was, like, 18 years old. And I'm 34. And, uh... <laughs> and that is um, something that I have literally never quit doing. So, um, oh, and in case anybody wants to see what gallium nitrate, I know I've spoke, I've touched upon that a couple of times. This is what gallium nitrate looks like. And this anti-inflammatory pain relief, it is absolutely amazing. Okay. So if you have a horse that ha you think you think even has navicular, um, you know, um, it's absolutely phenomenal stuff and you can order it on, um, I want to say Dr. EB or just look up gallium nitrate. Um, and I have had amazing things. The only thing that you cannot do with this is have aluminum shoes. Okay. The horse has to have steel shoes. All right. So again, I swear by this. The horse that we have this on was having a little bit of issue with a navicular um, and now is sound. Um, I think it's absolutely amazing stuff. Um, one thing I also want everybody to look into, if you have a horse with coughing um, or scaly, scaliness, um, scurvies going on, this Platinum Skin and Allergy Supplement is absolutely amazing. Um, as you can see, Digby is on it. Um, he's also on Platinum Performance, um, which is just a, the joint supplement. But this is, it's, it helps maintain the histamine levels. So um, it is like super, super amazing. Um, also, I touched upon, Elisa Wallace gave me this um, gastromen that she has Johnny on and told me about this. I ordered that and Patrick is on it. It smells like Yikesville, but they eat it. It's really weird. Um, it does not contain a meprazole. Um, surprisingly enough, but it helps with um, ulcer management. So um, definitely, definitely something to work. If you feel, if your horse is not a good eater, Patrick usually is. Um, sometimes he decides to go off his feed. So then we just um, oral dose it um, until his appetite returns. Um, but this is a really good, I this is not, I'm not sponsored by them. I just think it's a great, it, it's a great supplement. Um, and um, instead of, it, it would be something that would replace ulcer guard or gastro guard, um, or just use the ulcer or gastro guard for the shows and use this for as a daily thing. Again, before I was never a big fan of uh, using these sorts of supplements, but once Elisa told me about it, you know, as us riders sort of tell each other about things that works, um, it is, I have to say, it is actually really, really, really good stuff. So I'll just quickly take you out. Um, I have a couple more tricks that don't have to do anything with feeding, um, but I wanted to sort of touch base and not bore you guys too much. I see a, seen a boss, a couple of people 
watching this, uh, so I feel like I'm sort of boring you guys. Um, but I'm going to quickly... Oh, Ringo Starr! Wiener Schnitzel. So I'll show you G-string. Oh, <laughs> this is G-string. So G came to me, I would say a little on the thin side, but more importantly, he needed... Um, oh, Elise is torturing him with the hamster. Elise, why you do this? Oh, God. So it, it wasn't that he was skinny. He was very well taken care of, but he lacked muscle. Um, and as you can see, he's getting a beautiful top line. Oh, G-string. Oh, G-string. Oh, are you scared of the phone a little bit? Um, he, okay, just show us what your body looks like. Go away. There we go. Um, and now he, he's not ribby at all. And again, I've had this horse for about a month, I would say. He's completed his very first show, and he pee-peed in the show. Oh, what a good boy for pee-peeing in the middle of your dress out. Well, the beginning of your dress out test. But you can see his, his muscle in his neck, um, and the muscle over his back is really starting to come along. Um, and he, what is he getting, Elise? Um, one fiber dyes and one black bag. One fiber and one black bag. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's... I wish I could show you guys pictures before he came. There was, um, I'm really big into getting weight on my horses. You can see the dappling. Um, he obviously gets the flaxseed. Um, and he just gets fed twice a day. So, um, but again, like in order to create muscle, guys, these horses need weight. Um, they can't, we can't think of as event horses just coming tucked up. They have to create weight. Oh, hi, G-String. Um, let's see, who else do we have here? Oh, Matthias. Matthias. Oh, a Goopy. Hi, Goopy. Now, Goopy, Goopy had a little bit of a fat spell. Um, hi, Goopy. Say hi to everybody. Goopy had a little, this is Atlas, sorry. His, his name to us is Goopy because he likes to slobber a lot. Um, but Goopy had a little bit of a fat spell earlier this year, and I just, it got out of control. It got out of control. So he's going on a diet. Goops, goops. So he is, we've really taken his feed down. His owner, Danielle, warned me of it. And, um, but he actually is looking really good. Um, and now again, these dressage horses, I want to have more weight on them because I th weight on them because I think of them as um, weightlifters. So they have to have more weight because they are, these guys are all muscle, you guys. Like these are all muscle, these horses. So you can see his top line is super strong. I mean, look at the neck on this thing. Let's go on the other side so you can see the neck on this guy. I mean, this thing is like, look at the neck on this horse. Hi, Goops. Oh, hi, Goopy. Yes, hi, Goopy. Um, and so, but it's, you know, they're all changed. And he came from California. So, you know, where he was getting really good alfalfa hay. I will say on the East Coast, our hay is nothing compared to my California, my, Cal my homeland of California. So, um, but we do have really good grass for grazing. So, you know, it's all, sometimes when you change their... Um, you know, environment, you have to, the, the feed has to change with them. Um, Matthias, you have a blanket on. Matthias, we can't show off your beautiful body because you have a blanket on, Matthias. You can say hi to everybody. Oh, Matthias. Oh, Matthias. Oh, you put a head down and make a flexion. Why you do? Hi, Matthias. Oh, Matthias, you're smiling for us? Well, it's so nice of you to smile for everybody. Oh, Matthias. You're a good boy. And flags, we can just see, we don't even need to see how skinny. Oh, you're so skinny with that crest. Look at that crest, Flags. Now, again, a lot of times the crest comes from, he eats something in the field, so he gets a little bit of these pouches here. Um, but now, Flags is an Andalusian, so this crest is sort of a natural thing that you can fight. But he used to have fat pockets over his bum, um, which is now turned to muscle, thanks to his feeding regimen. Um, so he is a lot fitter. Um, yeah, I know Flags, and he loves, he loves when it's horse show week because he gets all the XTNs. Yes, he does. Let's see. Oh, Ringo Star. Bratwurst, Wiener Schnitzel, hi Bratwurst. Oh, that's a nasty. Oh, that's happy now. Um, so Wiener Schnitzel um, is another one that he's very angular. Um, now he, his career was, was begun in um, eventing. So, um, and now he's turned to dressage. So I'm adding more weight on him to have him make his appearance. Okay, flags is enough. Um, to make his appearance look, look less angular um, and now rounder. And it's begun to take shape because he has to do a lot more sitting now in the upper level dressages we're working on fourth level movements. 
And if I can just show you guys our Pika, because I'm just really proud of what this horse looks like. Um, now, not that you guys would know what he came like, but I will say it was a mild disaster and something a little short of calling, having PETA come and take me in. I didn't even want to show this horse in the field without a blanket on. Our Pika, come on, our Pika, come show everybody your pretty body. Yeah. Um, and again, he is, uh, I think he's an eight-year-old, Kentucky right off the track. He had a very pointy bum. He had no neck. He's got a dolphin head. He's got a wally eye. He's really cute. All right, Pika, you got to show me your body. Okay, you're not helping. Anyhow, so he's not going to really help here. Just, if you can see his neck here, I mean, the horse looks phenomenal. And he didn't get clipped, but you can still see the shine on him. Hi, Ari. You're cute. Um, and you can see the top line on him is absolutely fantastic on this horse. I mean, it really is getting beautiful. I mean, look at the neck. It looks like a stallion. I'm just so happy with that. Ari Pika! Hi, Ari Pika. Yeah, he's a, oh, he did his first horse show this weekend with Alexis and was a very good boy. A very good boy. Yeah, you're a good, you're a good boy. Um, so yeah, so anyhow, I will check in with you guys sometime this week. I want to talk to everybody about doing formaldehyde on the horse's feet. Um, it's a thing about hooves to prevent, you know, if you live in a very humid area um, or a place that's rained a lot and you're having a hard time keeping um, shoes on, um, it's a really good trick that I've learned since I was like 14 from my, um, one of my old farriers is very wise, Bill Lane. Um, and it's just a, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing trick. So if you guys can go on like, like not my scientist or something, but just look up straight from Aldehyde and people will probably think that you're preserving a dead body. Maybe you've killed somebody, but you're not, you're not. Um, and it, not, I'm not talking about, um, uh, What's that stuff? The uh, Caratex, right? Caratex is great, but you want pure formaldehyde. And you paint it around the nail holes of the horse, just on the very bottom. Um, and what it does, it prevent, it's, it creates a barrier to keep moisture out. Um, because a lot of in these rainy seasons or in the summer, where, and especially here in Virginia, in Texas, anywhere where it's super humid, um, you know, horses, you get the feet get shaly. And if like the platinum supplements aren't helping enough, this really, really, really does help. So um, the formaldehyde does. And we do it every other day in the rainy season. Um, every like third day, every third to fourth day, depending on, you know, how the horse's feet are holding up. Um, so I don't want to get off topic, but that is um, something that once we do it this week, um, I will just do a quick live to show you guys sort of exactly how we do it so no one gets confused. So anyhow, I hope that helped a little bit and cleared things up. It was a little educational. Feel free to um, write me. I have a lot of DMs to catch up on just because I've been so busy. But I will try to do that on the plane ride to Atlanta where I'm teaching my clinic in Sharpsburg, Georgia, and, um, and get to everyone's DMs. And until then, I hope this helps everybody. And I will get on board with getting to these lives and everybody oh flags my face oh wiener snitchel why are you grumpy oh that's nasty time cheese string cheese string oh flags are you tired you say hi to everybody hi flags oh my taste my taste my taste you say hi everybody my taste yeah you say hi and blankets are going on, everybody. And the girls have the barn looking beautiful. And Wiener Snitchel is mad. He doesn't know why he's mad. But oh, look at his neck is looking. So oh, Wiener Snitchel, your neck is looking so nice. Sauerkraut. Oh, sauerkraut. Nine. Alexis, say hi to everybody. Alexis is awkward. We love her. And everybody will just finish up with the cutest little Andalusian in the whole world. The tired flakes. Oh, flakes. Say bye, flakes. Bye, flakes.